Bring it in sideways, yep. Yeah. Nah, bro, this shit is risky. It's too tight. It's a little bit too tight. I feel like I'm not gonna be able to take it off. Hey guys, it's Ray Alvarez, and we're back with another AI series video. I had to take a little break as my daughter went into surgery, but today we're filming in my house. We're gonna get creative with Kay Alvarez, and today we're gonna create a look that we're actually really proud of. But if you haven't subscribed, subscribe now, leave me a comment, give me a like, and let's get into the video. guys so like i said in the intro i had to take a small break on filming youtube videos as work and helping around with my daughter's recent surgery had taken priority but i'm back and this video was filmed at home so i'm sorry guys but i didn't film the lighting setup or anything like that as i was short on time so most of the credit goes to Kay as she built most of what you will see here in the final look from scratch she found a fully rendered ai image that inspired the look in this video it doesn't always have to be exact or cloned or copied. It's just an inspiration and we try to come close to it to an extent. So Kay purchased a few large salad bowls, fused them together and then cut a hole in the middle. While designing this, we realized that we had to cut a hole because of the condensation along with the reflection that the light was making and it wasn't going to allow us to get it right. But most importantly, we had to make sure that Kay could breathe because she was not breathing and it was going to be a pain to put it on and remove the makeshift helmet to allow for breathing breaks. So this is why we ended up cutting hole in the middle. In this entire video, I kept it very minimal. The background you see here is the savage seamless roll of paper number two, sky blue. To light the scene, I used the Adorama Flashpoint AD400. The modifier of choice was the 48 inch softbox by Glow, and all of it was attached to my C stand. I'm shooting this with my new Sony A7R5 using one of my favorite lenses, the Sony 90mm G Master 2.8. The lights are all synced and triggering by using a Flashpoint R2 transmitter attached to the top of my camera. All right, so now that we have the details out of the way, I wanna show you what they look like straight out of camera. Now, I want to show you what the final edit looks like. All right, guys, so there you have it. We work really hard on this one. Leave us a comment below on what you think about our video and our process. Give me a like, and if you haven't already, subscribe to this channel. Stay tuned for the next one as we're gonna be working on our Zodiac series. As always, I hope you learned something in this video. See you in the next one. Thanks for watching.